Hello legends anywhere anytime this is Zach of simdudeplays.com just some do likes to play video games and we are here for part 220 of Fire Emblem Three Houses Blue Lions which is also going to be the start of chapter 20 almost there pretty much only two more chapters to go and we should be complete all the Blue Lion supports I have unlocked within the next I'm gonna say 12 videos so let's just open her up and start chapter 20. Part 2 Azure Moon Blue Sea Moon The Impregnable Fortress When Claude steps down as its leader, the Leicester Alliance disbands, and its lords swear fealty to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The chaos in the kingdom begins to dissipate as the people unite under Dimitri's rule. Riding this momentum, the kingdom army prepares to march south for a decisive battle against Imperial forces. And here we go. Okay, so we got to start with good old Casper here for his birthday. Let me just bring up the cheat sheet. So I need ginger tea. Yeah, we'll host the tea party. So, like I said, I need a ginger. Got hey, it. Hey, Professor, got something interesting to share? <laughs> ah, oh yeah, I can tell this is a good one. Come on, hand it over. Offer hey. some tea, as always. So, next, we'll talk. Yeah. Now let's see. I'll be back in a moment. So children at the market. Yeah. Huh? Next. Hopes for the future. Yeah. Lastly, huh? I can do children at the market again. Yeah. That one was really easy because of that. I really love fighting alongside you. I can always count on your commands to get us through. So now I got to laugh, I get it now. nod, or blush if the option comes up. Yay, it's over! Somewhat. Now, guess. Yeah. Let's give him a train and wait. For me. And huh? let's give him a hunting dagger. For me. Fill that up and let's observe. Okay. I grew a lot, haven't I? I'm pretty sure I'm taller than you now. No, you're not. I'm the tallest of them all. <laughs> What's going on? You're staring at me like I did something wrong. I swear I'm innocent. When was the last prank you played? I grew a lot, haven't I? Okay, we'll stop there and continue on with the week. Thanks for this, Professor. Don't you want to get some exercise, though? Come on, let's go train! Yay, charm increase for both of them. Even better. Now let's see what's happening now. We will finally have our decisive battle with the Empire this month. 
The Eastern Lords are in the process of consolidating all of the troops within the entire kingdom. In addition, ever since Aryan Road's liberation, the Western Lords have been declaring their fealty, one after another. Even better. The Lords within the kingdom have calmed down considerably, and we even managed to win over the Alliance. Which means you have the advantage now of not only quality, but quantity as well. Although it was a rough go at first, I'm starting to feel like we could actually win this. That's true. Thinking back on it now, we've really come a long way. Yep, we, we have. We even have a lead as to where Rhea is located. It is as we predicted all along. If we are to rescue Rhea, then we must defeat the Emperor. Um, yep. if we're going to march from the monastery to Inbar, then we'll have to cross the Great Bridge of Murden again, right? Yes, I believe so. Nice. As we have gained the Alliance's support, we should not have any trouble this time. Makes everything bridge, easier. We can cross Grander Field and head south. And then we'll take Mercius, the so-called impregnable fortress that towers on the other side. It's gonna fall. An impregnable for Fort fortress. Mercius, I know of it. They say it rivals even Aryan Road. Count Burgleys, the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs, once had troops stationed there. But according to our spies, a large-scale military force has entered the stronghold. Hubert. Perhaps they are gathering soldiers from various regions to compensate for their losses. Should we try to avoid it? It's the right question to ask. If we try to avoid it, those troops will follow us and attack from the rear. It is best for us to handle the situation head on. And strategically, that is a good plan because you never want to get pincered. The Empire proved that in the last monthly mission. Once we take Fort Mercius, Enbar will be within reach. This is the Empire's last chance to stop us from arriving at our goal. And in they will words, fail. If we take this fort, then our blades will be at the Emperor's throat in no time. If this is the last fort between us and them, then the Emperor will likely do everything she can to strengthen its defenses. And we'll interrupt them. I just them. received a report on that very subject. The one commanding the troops stationed at Fort Mercius is someone we have crossed blades with many times. The Death Knight. He is the Death Knight who awaits us there. Oh, so that's who we'll be battling. She kind of knows. Neo. I really wish I took him down in the last fight I did uh, in their paralogue. Would have liked that bonus drop. So here we go. Certifications. Still not quite ready for that, Dimitri. Yeah, no one's going to be ready now for anything else. Battalions will replenish. Blacksmith I don't really have to worry about. And let's just go and explore. Let's go have some fun because we have monsters next week and monsters in three weeks. Monsters in one week and monsters in three weeks. So here we go, 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 go. Let's go bulletin board. We'll have a good old chat with the Gilbert or Gilly there. Complete supply run. Even in the kingdom, only a few people knew about His Highness and Edelgard's relationship. Me? I always knew those two to be like brother and sister. Yeah. To think that we would come to see this world, where they are at war with one another. I live it, and can still barely imagine such a truth. Well, Elder Edelgard is a puppet, and Dimitri was set up. Professor, might I ask you to help us secure resources? Yes. Thank Done. you very much. Okay. So we're just gonna Good go and talk to people. Us? Maybe do some activities. So we're finally invading Empire territory, huh? 
There's not much we can do right now, except pray for deliverance. I truly believe that we have it in us to succeed. Oh, we will. No ifs and er buts about it. We will succeed. We will dominate. We will win. The Death Knight. I shudder to think of him. Professor, you remember my connection to him. Do you he not? kidnapped you. Of course. I am still working through the trauma from back then. All these years later, if we meet him, I swear I will have my revenge. Correction, Sadeth will uh, totally annihilate him. Fort Mercius is a keep that was constructed to defend the Imperial capital, Enbar. We cannot enter the capital without first capturing that fort. But once we have it, the city should be almost entirely at our mercy. Excellent. Now that we know Rhea is there, we must move with the utmost urgency. Yep. Ooh. I'm doing that. There is still more to- Okay, inventory, combat arts, bylith. Trade for Bane of Monsters. Wind sweep. There you go, that should be nice. I need to go through and change all these. We'll talk to Manuela on the way back from the library. You know, it still kind of sucks they didn't add more books here. Like, they leave you with some parts missing and you never get to read them. Now, what research is Hanuman up to? Fort Mercius is the Empire's single most fortified military installation. Utterly impregnable, they say. I wonder... Do you happen to know the nickname given to Fort Mercius? The stubborn old general. Indeed, a very good answer. But of course, you'd know that. Seems Fodlands give everyone and everything a nickname. Why, you were called the Ashen Demon. Learn more in the Fire Emblem Warriors that's coming up in June or July. I can't remember. Myself, I have been called the Father of Crestology. Which is a nickname as well as a title, I suppose. Well, look at your research, buddy. You deserve it. You know Myself. what? Do some little things here and there to make Byleth a bit better. Make it easier for New Game Plus. Enbar holds a lot of memories for me. Each step closer to Enbar, I'm reminded of another part of my past. Riches and poverty, glory and failure. That city has it all. And if I'm honest, sometimes I miss it. Of course she grew up there. That's how the past works though, isn't it? It's always a different story than what you really lived. Onward for more talking. Hey, you. No. Good old Didu. Claude has stepped down from leadership, and Lester is now a vassal state of Fargus. The lords of the Western Kingdom are beginning to declare fealty to us in greater numbers, also. The Empire is our only remaining enemy. Didu is jumping for joy. Oh, Dimitri here, so that means there's a little war room meeting. From this point onward, we're in all-out war with the Empire. Are you prepared, Professor? Uh, I am. I'm glad to hear it. That means we can approach the coming battles with peace of mind. First, we capture Fort Mercius. The fighting will undoubtedly be brutal, but we must prevail. As far as this army and I are concerned, you're our last ray of hope. We are relying on you. And we will succeed. <laughs> yeah, Byleth is more skilled than Dimitri. It appears that Claude has dissolved the Alliance. 
He's thrown away the pride of all the Lester Lords who have walked the path of independence from Fargus for generations. Lorenz is kind of pissed at Claude. I said from the start that he was not suitable to lead. Uh-huh. <laughs> that face. <laughs> well, times have changed, haven't they? I suppose we can trust the kingdom now. Let's help raise that up. Just get all this talking done and all the way, then do some more activities and some supports in the next video. They write operas about things like this. The Leicester Alliance is no more. 300 years of history. Gone and done. Nope. 300 years of history preserved and continuing on. They write operas about events like this, you know? Dimitri will be played by the most handsome actor of the time. Hearts will pound as he takes the stage. What am I saying? Surely the most handsome <laughs> man would play you. <laughs> you got that right. Oops, nope, don't want to do that. Do not want to do that. So let's see Felix, who's being cautious. We defeated Lord Arendelle. The Emperor must have been surprised. If we can keep up that fervor, perhaps we'll capture Fort Mercius and move on to the Imperial capital. We must not be overconfident, though. Let's proceed with caution. Yes, I concur. Basically, his thought bubble. Humans and beasts are ultimately the same. When they're cornered, they lash out however they can. They fight for their lives. Which is very good advice. The other thing is, uh, Felix's thought bubble gave away the answer for that conversation. Who knows how the Emperor will lash out. We have to be careful. Oh yes, things are gonna get crazy. Ooh, sword tournament! We took quite the detour. It was time consuming, but finally we got the information we needed. We crush the Empire, we get Lady Rhea back. Two birds, one stone. Yeah. First, we take Fort Mercius. I'll put my heart in it. I'll crack him like a rusty helmet. Okay. There's only one answer. I choose you, Felix. Ooh, a master sealed. One to master remember. seal. That's a nice prize. You haven't earned my pick. I'll heal after this round. Never mind. Right. After next. the next round, if need be. Felix and his crits. Mind you, Ash and cr his crits do no damage. Too slow. You haven't earned. Okay, I'm still pain. gonna heal as a safety, but Felix is really kicking ass. well knew Felix was the right one for that done so we are going to end it here in the cathedral yes animals have never been fond of me even war horses and wyverns are put up by my countenance what can I do, do can I do Just keep at it. There's nothing else to do. And I failed. 
I don't care. We're near the end of the game. I don't need any more supports. <sighs> now, let's see what I can do with the statues here. Need something. Hmm. See you again soon. Well, wait. I'm still have the one more month to go through, and I'm not going that way. We'll go out this really? door because this well likes to have items on it. Like I said, the well likes to have items on it. Now, who is slumming it up up here? Ah, uh, Lysithia. Something about Lord Arundel rubbed me the wrong way. There was something off about him. I agree. Not that I've ever heard anything good about him. Have you ever heard of the Harim family? From the Empire? Correct. Their lands are due south of the Ordelia territory. Since Edelgard's rule, Lord Arundel had been governing the territory. It seems like his reign was particularly cruel. The people there suffered greatly under him. He seemed to be a good and just person at one point. Doesn't make sense unless he's been replaced. Which was my thoughts. I felt Marianne would be on the bridge here. Now that the Alliance has been dissolved, what will become of the nobility? Are you worried? No, my adoptive father knows how to get by. I'm sure he'll do well for himself in the kingdom. All of Fodlan is going to change. I suppose I'll have to change with it. Okay. So let's go to the greenhouse with Linhart. Have you considered... Attacking an impregnable fortress head-on is rather impressive, or suicidal. Depends on the day, really. You know Fort Mercius's nickname, I assume. The stubborn old general? It may be stubborn, but its age means it's got to be hiding a few weak spots. Makes sense to aim for those areas. Oh, yes, that is a good strategy. Yes. Let's harvest. Okay, plant. So let's do some mixed herb, some root veggies, some boa fruit, north salute boa fruit, and then let's do pale blue. We'll see how that goes. We're finally going to attack the Empire? I'm actually getting a little nervous. Please defeat the Emperor and save Lady Rhea. I'll be waiting here with all of the necessary preparations for a huge celebration. Good. We'll be looking forward to it. Yep. <laughs> mm. So, I will end the video here. And in the next video, we'll start hitting out some of these supports. Get them out of the way, and we'll be good to go. So I'll start Linhart and Caspar. Those will be quick. And then we'll start moving to Lorenz, Raphael, and everyone else. So this is Zaka, SemduPlays.com, just Semdu likes to play video games. And always, if you've liked the videos, help out with the channel by interacting, mean and share, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, visit semdplays.com, and remember, we are all legends, so have a great day, everyone. Hello.